And now, Tiki Man Radio is proud to present the JBL Legends Travel Travel Moment with Joe Leo. Take it away, Joe. Good morning, everybody. It's Joe Leo with the JBL Legends Travel Group with this week's Travel Minute. And uh, today I want to talk about Italy. Well, I'm going to talk about Europe vacations, but we're going to center it on Italy today to make it easy. Um, we're getting a lot of calls uh, for uh, vacations in Italy, and people ask me all the time, you know, what's enough time? Is it seven days, 10 days? Yeah, seven to 10 days is probably going to be the best, depending upon where you want to go. Now, let me explain that. Italy's a big place. So depending on where you want to go, if you're looking to go all the way up from, you know, northern Italy all the way down to Sicily, you need more than seven to 10 days because the distance between the two is, uh, you know, it's quite a distance, whether you're flying, uh, taking a train or driving by car. What I always suggest to people is to take a look at the country, see where you want to go, what, which, which spots of that country um, and this can apply to any country, whether it's Ireland, England, uh, Greece, um, unless you're going to take an escorted tour, which I've talked about in previous editions. Take a look and see where you want to go. Then go to this website. It's called Rome, the number two, Rio, R-I-O. So it's Rome to Rio. That will tell you the distance between any two major cities by car, by plane, by train. Uh, or, or, or flights. Um, when you have a good idea of how much time is there, because that's where I'm going to look once I talk to you, um, then we can figure out if seven to 10 days is going to be enough or you, or you need more. Um, so it, it's, it's important because you don't want to spend a lot of time traveling. And you have to understand when you're going over to Italy, like I know leaving here from New Jersey, we leave the night before at like eight o'clock at night and we get there the next day. So you lose a day going, you lose a day coming back. You got to figure that into the plan. So if you had seven days plus the one on the beginning and the one on the end that you're losing, now you're in a nine day trip. So just take a look at where it is you want to go, see which sites you want to see. Now, most of the major airports there are going to be Naples and, and, and Rome. Uh, there is a small one in, in uh, Sicily called Catania. Uh, and there are small. There is a small one uh, close to the Amalfi Coast, but they're small. So the flights from there are going to generate back to a major port, a major city before you you fly home. So be you know be cautious of, of what you want to do. I know everybody goes, oh, I want to go to Italy. I want to see the whole thing. You're not going to see the whole thing. So don't make one trip. Make a couple. Go go do northern Italy. Go do southern Italy. Go do the Amalfi Coast. Um, it's really, um, it's really a lot to cover in seven to 10 days when you factor in the traveling. All right. So anyway, if you're thinking about something like that, whether it's Italy, Greece, England, Ireland, whatever, give me a call. We'll guide you through it. I'll tell you exactly how many days you really need to be going. This has been Joe Leo with this week's JBL Legends Travel Minute. Have a great week. Thanks, Joe. Always travel with someone you trust. JBL Legends Travel and Joe Leo. Reach out to him at 732-831-5200. The official travel company of Tiki Man Radio.